So Erica Synths sent me a Syntrax, which is a modern analog synthesizer that was released last year. But if you're thinking that it has a bit of a retro vibe to it, that's because it is inspired by the paradigm of EMS synths from the 1970s, such as the Synthie AKS and the VCS3, AKA Putney. But instead of a pin matrix, there is a digital matrix that allows you to route the analog audio and control signals, and you can then save your configurations. Now, as ever, I like to explore instruments with some kind of context, and so I'm going to compose the theme tune and sound effects to an imaginary sci-fi show that I'm going to call so the premise of Omicron 9 is that in the year 2094, humans have sent missions into the galaxy to look for new worlds as Earth is becoming uninhabitable. One of the ships, Omicron 9, lost contact with Earth after being sucked through a black hole. Finding themselves in an uncharted part of the galaxy, our crew get up to all sorts of shenanigans in convenient half-hour episodes as they seek to re-establish contact with Earth. So first I'm going to make the sound of the ship's alarm, which blasted when they were sucked into the black hole. Now the Syntrax has a trapezoid module that may be unfamiliar to you if you're used to more normal ADSR envelopes, but it's really easy to understand. There's an attack time where the voltage rises from zero volts to the maximum level. That is followed by an on time, which you can think of as a hold time where the voltage is held at the maximum level. There is then a decay time where the voltage returns to zero and an off time which defines how long the voltage stays at zero before we start again. So now you can probably see why it's called a trapezoid. As well as the control voltage it generates there is an associated VCA and the amplitude is also contoured by the trapezoid which is why you don't see a VCA module anywhere on the synth. I'm going to use this in conjunction with two really key parts of Syntrax which you'll hear throughout the video and those are the ring modulator and the spring reverb. That's a physical spring, it's not a digital effect. I've got two of the VCOs as the A and B in the ring modulator and I'm modulating the frequency of one of them with the trapezoid and I've also assigned the axis of the joystick to the frequency of the VCO so that I can sweep around until I find what I'm after. After a minute or so I got this. Perfect. Next, I want some indistinct radio chatter in the background to help set the atmosphere. And so I'm going to run my voice through one of the two external signal inputs and put that through the ring modulator with one of the oscillators. I've then got a low pass filter and two tilt filters, one on each of the two output channels, so I can manipulate the tone. I've then got a nice noise generator with colour that I'm going to combine with the ring modulator to create the sound of the ship passing by. And you've got to use a sample and hold if you want some ambient computer type sounds. <laughs> Okay, for the theme tune, I'm going to lay down a simple ostinato and play around with combining the noise with the three oscillators, changing their wave shapes, and you'll see that you can get some pretty classic envelope style behaviour from the trapezoid if you want it. I'll then bring in some two oscillator bass which sounds so grubby and cool on the Syntrax and I'll combine it with a phase sync sound to give some higher frequency bite. Next I'll stick in some percussion and on the face of it you can only make one sound at a time on the Syntrax as there's only one VCA. However, I've stole, I mean, borrowed an idea from the ever resourceful Ziv at Loopop, as I didn't realize that there is a trick to get two independent sounds simultaneously. So I've got an oscillator running through the filter and VCA and the trapezoid is modulating its frequency. So this gives me an analog drum sound. <laughs>
But now here's the trick. If you send either a gate signal or CV into one of the external signal inputs and combine it with the noise in the ring mod and then route that to a channel output, each time that control signal burst comes in, it will combine with the noise in the ring mod and you get an independent sound. There is still a tilt filter on the output so you can manipulate it without going near the low pass filter that is being used by the other sound, so that's handy. So here's the two combined sounds. <laughs> I'm then going to process a 1978 Musicade Simmons STS-3 through the Syntrax using the filter and the ring modulation with some joystick shenanigans for modulation. Okay, for that shimmery 70s sci-fi high end, I'm going to turn to a Krumar string machine from the 70s. Beautiful. It's one of my secret weapons, that synth, or not so secret weapons. And last but not least, we've got to use vocoder. And I've got a nice analog one, so I'll stick Syntrax into that. Perfect. Okay, and here's the whole thing together. I'll give you my thoughts about Syntrax afterwards. The year 2094. Earth is a desolate wasteland. As the last attempt to survive, humanity puts its hope into missions deep into the galaxy. Among those ships looking for our new home, is Omicron 9. So there we go, Omicron 9, coming to a screen near you, never. Uh, I thought I'd end with a little summary of my thoughts, having had Syntrax here in the studio for a few weeks. So, uh, as you know, I have a soft spot for vintage synths, and what I love about them, and what many other people love about them, is that they have a really upfront, in-your-face kind of sound, and Syntrax is absolutely like that. It's got loads of girth, it's got loads of bite to the sound, and then overall, it, it's got a character to it, which is really good. It's not a vanilla synth that's, you know, plight and well-behaved and fits in wherever. Uh, and that means that there will be people who don't like it and it's not their thing and that's absolutely fine. But then on the other hand, people who are into it will really be into it, which, you know, I, I think it's better if synths are a bit more like that. You know, they're a bit more like this does that thing and you're like, oh, I really like that or Whoa, I don't like that rather than it being a bit bland. So uh, from me, it's a big thumbs up. I really did enjoy having Syntrax in the studio. Uh, I hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching.